Andrew Getsomuete, the executive director of Amanda.mobi based in Johannesburg, South Africa. At Amanda.mobi, we are working towards building power, building black power with a particular focus on low income black women, because we believe that when low income black women move forward, society as a whole moves forward. And so for us, it is quite key to prioritize those who are most marginalized and those who face um, the core, the heart of injustice that we see all around us. During my time in this role and other roles where I have worked with and organized with a whole variety of different kinds of people, I've learned many lessons that I am really excited to share with you today. Very often when you are working towards changing the world and working towards improving democratic structures and democracy overall, it is easy to think of yourself and your organization as being at the center of the world. The reality is that we are challenging powers and systems and governments and corporates that have so much more capacity and resources than what we do. And so in many ways, we find ourselves on this periphery, right? Rather than being at the center of the world. But what brings us closer to the center is recognizing that no individual or organization can do it all by themselves. And so how are we working with those doing work that is different from ours? to build the future and the world that we want? How are we working to create these ecosystems where researchers, where artists, where everybody in whatever space they are in and in whatever way makes sense um, is able to contribute towards advancing um, democracy and democratic values. And that's what we think a lot about, bringing people to work together and collectively. One thing that's important to make that possible, one thing that holds us together and ensures that we are able to hold each other accountable as well, is we often think of the work of justice as being out there, but justice also should be reflected in our spaces. And it is quite easy to lose sight of that. So a starting point is being clear on your values and keep your practice guided by them. You know, if we say we want justice out there, what are we doing internally within our organizing to reflect that justice that we want to see in the world? Another one is use all the tools at your disposal. There is no tool that is too big or too small to contribute towards fighting for justice. But do not try to replace people with tools. Throughout history, we have seen new shiny things with the technology and other ways that are seen to be the way out of injustice and people seek to use that rather than people. So while we can and should use everything at our disposal, like activists of the past use printing technology that was available to them to create posters and other anti-apartheid um, messaging that they could spread around further, we should be using these tools, but not seeking to replace people with them. When selecting tools, we should be clear about how do these tools meet people where they are, rather than trying to move people to a place that they can never reach, um, which again makes the struggle exclusive and shuts some people out. I would also like to remind everyone that everything should be tested, including our own assumptions about the world. Sometimes what we think we know about the world um, is not true. It is the echo chambers of our own individual bubbles. So by working together in ecosystems, we are able to connect with those outside of our own individual bubbles and test some of the assumptions that we make whether about our own organizing, ourselves, and the change that we do want to make in the world. And that is what I want to leave you with today. I hope you find that helpful. Thank you. Mm -hmm.